Scientists currently recognize two main types of particles in the universe, bosons and fermions, and the property that distinguishes between them is spin. Not spin in the ordinary sense, but something that's analogous to it in quantum mechanics. Bosons have a spin that's an integer multiple of quantum units of angular momentum, 0, 1, 2, and so on. Fermions have an odd half-integer amount of spin, for example, a half and 3 over 2. Bosons were named by Paul Dirac in 1947 after the Indian physicist Satyendra Bose. Together with Albert Einstein, Bose developed the theory characterizing such particles now known as Bose-Einstein statistics. Bosons don't obey the Pauli exclusion principle. This means that there's no limit to the number of bosons that can occupy the same point in space at the same time. So for example, there's no limit in theory to the brightness of a beam of light. Some bosons are elementary particles that have a special role in particle physics, as force carriers, which give rise to forces between other particles or, in the case of the Higgs boson, contributing to the phenomenon of mass. The bosons that serve as carrier particles for the four basic forces in nature, electromagnetism, the strong force, the weak force in gravity, are known collectively as gauge bosons. The photon, the carrier of the electromagnetic force, is a massless, uncharged boson with spin 1. The W and Z bosons, also known as intermediate vector bosons, mediate the weak force between leptons and in the decay of hadrons. The Z boson is electrically neutral, whereas the W boson comes in two forms, positively and negatively charged. Gluons, of which there are eight different types, are the carrier particles of the strong interaction that holds quarks together. Gluons are electrically neutral and have spin 1. They're the equivalent in quantum chromodynamics of photons in quantum electrodynamics. Neither quarks nor gluons exist as isolated particles but only as constituents of hadrons. The as yet undetected graviton, presumed to be associated with the gravitational force, is theorized to have spin 2. As well as these force-carrying bosons, there's an elementary boson that's involved with defining the mass of other particles by the so-called Higgs mechanism. The Higgs boson, named after the English physicist Peter Higgs, was the last elementary particle predicted by the Standard Model to be discovered in 2012, as a result of experiments carried out at the Large Hadron Collider. Composite particles such as hadrons, nuclei, and atoms can be either bosons or fermions depending on their makeup. Since bosons have integer spin and fermions odd half integer spin, any composite particle made up of an even number of fermions is a boson. Composite bosons include all types of meson, which are made from quark-antiquark pairs, and stable nuclei of even mass number such as deuterium and carbon-12. Outside the realm of particle physics, multiple identical composite bosons behave at high densities or low temperatures in a way described by Bose-Einstein statistics. An example is the behavior of a gas of helium-4 atoms at temperatures close to absolute zero. Because there's no restriction on the number of bosons that can occupy the same quantum state, when, for example, a gas of helium-4 atoms is cooled to temperatures close to absolute zero, the kinetic energy of the particles becomes negligible. Consequently, it condenses into a low energy state and becomes a superfluid, a fluid that can flow with no internal friction.